Hey you guys, it's me Crystal Pistol and I went to Wally World, which is aka Walmart in the South if y'all ain't already known. <laughs> Walmart has a bunch of new stuff right now. Okay, anyways, I got this from Hard Candy. This is the Cashmere Silk and they had a bunch of nude shades and I was really into this one. It says Demi Matte Cream Lip Color. Dare to Bear with Cashmere Silk. Dress Your Lips in Denim Matte Finish. Available in any of cream neutral colors suitable for all skin tones the hydrating silky smooth texture and teddy soft applicator will have you saying bye bye to your lip balm yes. start by applying your gloss on the middle of your lips and smooth outward so Dress your lips in demi matte finish available in any cream natural color so this is like a hydrating matte I guess it's like not a full matte. matte. So this is going to be interesting because my lips have been so dry. I'm trying to, I guess the color is 1318. It doesn't give me a color. Oh wait, here it is. It's called Sorbet. 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 I don't know. Sorbet. I'm from Kentucky y'all, so. <laughs> we don't talk fancy like that here. This is a really cute color actually. I'm into this. What do you guys think? I want to see it. I think this is cute. Yeah, that is a really cute color. It looks I'm like really a... into like pinky natural tones. That's really my thing now. Just so let's didn't... tear this thing open. Whoop. And it's not as in like decadent a packaging as their other matte and metallic lipsticks that they have. Which their other ones are like in cases. These are so weird to me because these remind me of like Kylie lipsticks for some reason. Their color range and the way they do their packaging. I don't know. I just get Kylie vibes. Like especially this like or is it like KKW They have this nude pink packaging right now? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, we'll just go ahead and swatch it. I'm actually gonna put this on my lips too, just so we know, like, so I know what it feels like and stuff and how it wears. So it says to work from the inside and work outward, so that's what we're gonna do. Also, what are you watching? That's a really pretty color. It looks like an orange and a pink put together. Like the top is like an orange. Okay, so I'm really into it. It's like it's not super opaque. It's so, kind of like, I'll tell you what this is making me think of, and I think that these might start to be a thing. Um, This reminds me a lot of the uh, Lime Crime. Lime Crime is coming out with this new line that's like a soft, supposed to be like I forget what they call them like teddy bear soft where it's like it's a matte color it's like a semi matte but like your nude lip shows through I think this is like trying to be a drugstore like <laughs> lippy of these but so far hard candy has really been killing the the lip game so I'm really impressed so far and this feels really good it doesn't really look matte to me at all I don't know where they're getting matte at. It looks more like a lip gloss kind of. So I'm not really, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is like a matte gloss, but this looks super gloss to me. We'll just give it some time and see what it does. But I really like it. I'll probably wear this a lot like when I'm at I'm work and stuff places. like that. Yeah, and it feels moisturizing. I feel good about it. I like it. Okay, so something else I got from Hard Candy that I was super excited about. And this kind of gives me like, um, this reminds me Benefit. Those Benefit, I've never bought any of them, but like the, the Benefit, you know, like the little boxes, kind of like the Hula Bronzer. I have the Hula Bronzer. Who doesn't? But like the other ones where they're like highlights, high beam. I don't know. I might be doing this wrong. I'll put a little picture up here to what this reminds me of so you guys know. Natalie's messing with my vanity stuff if you guys hear anything. So, anyway. But the cool part about this, this is the part that freaked me out the most. And they have different ones. But this is supposed to be a highlighter. I'll just read the, the back of it first. It's called Fox in a Box. 
Girl Boss Marbleized Baked Highlighter. They just say that's pretty much all they give you. It's a baked highlighter. But the cool part about this is every different one of these has a different scent. So I got the Vanilla Frosting. Okay, this is Vanilla Frosting. And the packaging is really cute. It really got my attention. That's the only thing I don't like about drugstore makeup. It's a bitch to open. Okay, so it comes with this little bitty brush. And these look just like the little Benefit boxes. And it's magnetic too. And it's got that girl on there with her computer and stuff. I think it's so cute. <laughs> and... It does kind of smell like a vanilla cupcake. I mean, like, it's not so strong that it's thickening, but, like, I can smell it. It comes with this brush, which looks super cheap. And I already have some highlighter on, but I'm just going to go ahead and, I guess, go over my highlighter with it. <laughs> just do it for the vlog. Did anything happen? I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it is. I'm trying to be so quiet, but then I'm just like, oh god. Oh I'm yeah, just, I'm I like this. Down. You guys see that? Let me see. Yeah, you can see so like it's a, a really pale glamour in it. Yeah, this is nice actually. Like it has like. You know what? I kind of don't even mind it. the brush, which is kind of weird. I thought this is super cheap, but it actually, this super synthetic brush is working really good with this product. Okay. Does makeup is wow. Wow. Okay, so yes. Wait, I I'm really into this, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna swatch it, but like this is a close up of the actual box. You have five of these. Okay, so. Wow. So it has like a really pale gold color to it. This is so cute. I'm super into this. Okay. So, what else did I get? Okay, so the next few things. Okay, so this is from Wet n Wild and this isn't new. This is just something that I've been wondering about and I haven't really seen any YouTubers try it. Probably because... They know it's going to be an overspray glitter, and that's what I'm afraid of. So, this is what this little bitty glitter compact looks like. <sighs> I just know that this is going to be an overspray. Yeah. I'm really worried. I'm going to even swatch this until I get the top layer off. That's really pretty. Okay, yeah. It's a really sad little glitter overspray. And it's waxy as crap. I kind of figured it would be. Okay, so that's a flop. But I bought it because I had to know. It was only like 98 cents. So my feelings aren't too hurt. I'm going to take this lip product off. This is something new. Like I love the wet and wild cat suit. Like well, little lady, let me elucidate here. Everybody wants to be a cat. Because a cat's the only cat. Knows my, one of my favorite liquid lipsticks. They literally do not go anywhere. You can wear that shit all day long. It's not going anywhere. Holy shit, I can't open this. But this, I noticed because something that's really in right now is the, um, the shimmery lipsticks, like the chrome lipsticks or whatever. And that is what Wet n Wild came out with. And I was like, when I seen this, I was like, shut the front door. <laughs> um, okay, so this is metallic lipstick. This one is called Satin Sheets, and this is Liquid Cat Suit. I'm just gonna put it on and see about the formula of this. Wow. Okay, so it feels just like the regular formula. It's really liquidy at first. Mm. 
Let's see what I think. It seems to be opaque. It balled up just a little bit where my lips were wet on the inner part. Let's let it set down. I actually don't mind this. Like, I feel like this color is super cute. Like, especially for springtime and summer. What did I say this color was? Satin sheets. I really like it. It's really flirty. This would be really cute on your eyes, too, actually. Okay. It's starting to dry down. It does transfer just a little bit. So it's not as untransfer. It's actually, I kind of feel like it's more livable than the regular cat suit. But I don't know. I still like it. I don't count that as a bad that it's not. Something else I got. Uh, this is called Maybelline Python Metallic Lip Kit. And when I seen this, okay, like I had a moment because I was looking around because it's been a long time since I've done a drugstore haul. And I was like, okay, so what am I going to get for first impressions? You know, it's been a while. What do they want to see? And I was just kind of walking around in circles. I seen like the, like I seen the, the Lumi, the L'Oreal Lumi bronzer and all that. And I was like, eh. That's kind of boring. So, I found something else. And I was just like, oh my god. This was like the first thing that I seen that when I was like, okay. This is what I had to do this video on. Like, this was going to be the main thing that I did this video on. Yeah. Is metallic, the metallic lip kick by Maybelline. Look at that. This is Python. Snag. I'm a snag. I'm a snag. And what you're supposed to do is, and I told you guys, metallics are really in right now, obviously. I don't even know. It, it's saying metallic powder. So, I'm already freaking out. Thank you, Natalie. I dropped it. So, we're just going to open this thing, I guess, and see what, what it's all this? about. So, this is what it looks like. It's a little sleek, cute package. This is so weird. Okay. Ooh. Okay. This is so weird, guys. Okay, because on the packaging, this looks blue, right? But look at this. That, my friends, looks black. This is like a wax, and this is that shimmer they want us to use. So, it has a shift of green in it and gold. So, this is going to be really, really cool to do. <laughs> Okay, so I need a lip pencil first of all. I don't even use lip pencils. Okay. Get this brush clean. Sorry guys, I'm gross. I have to get this brush clean. Okay, so we're going to dip into this black color that I guess is supposed to be blue. Okay, it's looking blue on the brush. That is so weird. Okay. Okay, so automatically this color has a shift in it. It's like a green, navy, blue color. You could call it teal, <clears throat> like a super deep dark teal. I had to get my mirror over here. Wow. Okay, so. The application itself is super streaky. Let 
You just have to kind of work with it. Let me try my finger. Okay. Okay, so. It's definitely not the easiest thing to apply ever. It's not a matte formula. It's more of a satin formula. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the glitter. This is the magic. But I guess it doesn't have to be matte because you're putting a powder on top of it. Wow. Okay, and it's super messy. <laughs> so, I kind of got it all over me, but. I mean, I actually think it's pretty cute. <clears throat> this would be super cute in an Instagram, like a makeup look. Uh, would I wear this out every day? Hell no. Um, but I think it's cute. And if you do want to wear it out every day, I salute you. Would I wear it to a club? Yeah, I would wear it to a club. Snack. I'm a snack. Because it's kind of, it, like, it's kind of striking. And it would spark a good conversation. Would it hold up through a meal? Uh, I don't think so, honestly. And I feel like. I wouldn't wear this to eat because, like, it's super dark and it's, I don't know. I wouldn't wear it to eat. I Swallow Jennifer Lopez. Hey, Jennifer Lopez. Hey, ah. Ice Cube. Ah. I feel like it would become a mess really quick. And you would have to keep fixing it and reapplying it. And I feel like it would just be too much of a hassle. But, do I think it's cool? Yeah. Do I think it's kind of gimmicky? A little bit. A little bit gimmicky. I mean... I don't like things that aren't practical, and I kind of feel like this isn't very practical, but I like it. It's good for pictures and stuff, and we live in a society today where things are okay in pictures, so. But I feel like a mermaid. I feel like a python. <laughs> but I like it. It's cute. Um... You could definitely wear it for certain things, like certain events, and, you know, people would notice it. But, would I wear it every day? No. They probably have, I'm pretty, I've seen a more livable one, that, but this Python one, I mean, it caught my attention. So, is it like it says on the box? It's not as cool looking as the box but you know we couldn't expect it to be that freaking cool i mean obviously that's some artwork right there but i mean it's got similar shifts in it just like the photo so i like it little gimmicky but i still like it i'll keep it i'll always have it so something to add to the collection so, the next thing that I got is from Revlon. And I've actually seen these for a while. These are not new. Or I guess, yeah, they are new. But I've seen them for a while. They're not new new. So, this is the Revlon Exfoliating Sugar Scrub. And I thought that this was really cool. It's just, this is the packaging it came in. You know, basic Revlon packaging. It's a sugar scrub plus hydration. It's supposed to exfoliate your lips, whatever. So, this is in, they have different kinds. This one is sugar mint. So, I'm just going to try it out. Oh, 
I can feel like the little bitty bits. I can feel like the little bitty bits in it, like trying to exfoliate. But it's not like a lot. <laughs> I don't really know if this would really exfoliate your lips good enough, but it's a really thick, nice feeling gloss, or not gloss, but you know, like chapstick feeling. It smells good, it tastes good. I'm not mad at it, I have a blue mouth. Um, I like it, I'll probably use it. So, the question is, what was my favorite products? in all of this hoopla. Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> My favorite products are, it has to be this highlighter. I have got to see more highlighters from this. I have to see this whole line. So more videos on this to come for sure. Um, and what was my favorite lip product? My favorite lip product has to be the Hard Candy Cashmere Silk Lips. I really like this. It's hydrating. It feels really good on my mouth. I like it. My least favorite, but not so shocking, was this little bitty glitter pod. I knew I wasn't going to like this. I'm probably going to give this to my niece. Let her use it. Niece, sister. I'm adopted, so I don't know what to call anybody. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, I'm going to give this to her. Um, she can play with it and have fun. <sighs> Uh, second best would have to be the Wet n Wild. I really like this. Formula wasn't too bad. I'm kind of happy that it was a more livable formula because the fact that this is a metallic, if it was super, super, you know, super pigmented and stuff, I feel like it would have been, the color would have been just a little bit too much. So I really like this formula. I like it. Okay, and last, the only reason I wasn't too into this was just because, like, there's two different sides to this. I was super excited to make this video on this because look at it. And metallic lips are in right now, so I know this is a trending topic, so I was really excited to get this. But I didn't think it was, I didn't read about it. I didn't realize it was going to be a powder based and a cream based. And I feel like it's a little gimmicky because it's, you know, it's a little much to try to keep up with, but if you're into darker lips and you're into like a, that grunge, cool looking, edgy look, this is perfect for you. It's not really practical enough for me, I guess, but I would, I'm going to use this again. I don't know when or where, but it's going to happen again. And it's got a badass name, Python. It's awesome. So, anywho... I really like this and this the last thing that I tried it's not super exfoliating but I really like it it's super moisturizing and I don't know my lips are never really chapped anyway I'm kind of blessed but um I like it so this works it's, it's thick it doesn't feel sticky I like it okay um so that's it for this drugstore haul. I hope you guys like this. I really enjoyed making this video. Um, I'm getting ready to do another video where I'm gonna take this face off and Austin is going to actually do my makeup. So I'm terrified. So this should be interesting. He might try to go for like a grungy look cause he's into stuff like that, like emo gothic looking makeup I don't know so punk rock and then I'm also gonna be doing a video coming up really soon of a business I think it's she's the Etsy business I'm gonna look up more about it but she was nice enough to send me some products to review for you guys and I'm gonna do that for her so more videos to come videos every week I'm Crystal Pistol. I hope you guys subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Uh, I love you guys. Every subscriber that I have, you guys mean the world to me. Talk to me. Tell me what kind of videos you want to see coming from me. And I will definitely make a note and do it. So, thank you guys so much. 
Have a nice night.